In this video, I'll be comparing PopOS versus Nobara, two Linux distributions that make gaming and creative work more accessible, but in very different ways. PopOS is Ubuntu-based, polished and productivity-focused, while Nobara is Fedora-based and tailored specifically for gamers and content creators. So let's look at what each does best and which one might fit your needs. So first I'll go over what exactly they do. PopOS is developed by System76 and based on Ubuntu. It's designed for developers, creators and gamers who want a modern productivity-focused system with strong hardware support. It's great for laptops, workstations and gaming PCs, especially if you want a balance of stability and performance. Nobara is built on Fedora and tailored specifically for gamers and streamers. It comes with pre-installed tools like Proton GE, Wine, OBS Studio, Multimedia Codecs and proprietary GPU drivers. It's aimed at people who want Fedora's modern base without the hassle of manually setting up a gaming-ready system. So in terms of key features, PopOS includes a clean GNOME-based desktop with tiling window management built in, excellent NVIDIA and AMD driver support with dedicated ISOs for NVIDIA, strong performance for gaming, creative workflows and programming, and it includes a polished minimal interface with good hardware integration, especially on System76 machines. Nobara Linux includes the Fedora base with regular updates and modern packages, pre-configured gaming tools, so Proton GE, Wine and Steam ready out of the box, OBS Studio codecs and drivers included for streaming and media work, and customizations to Fedora's defaults for easier usability and smoother gaming experience. So in terms of the experience you have with them, PopOS feels modern and productivity driven, the tiling window manager makes multitasking smooth and hardware acceleration works reliably. It's flexible for both work and play, appealing to people who want one Linux system for everything. The Nobara Linux feels like Fedora but gaming ready immediately. You don't need to hunt for codecs, drivers or gaming tweaks, everything is pre-configured. It's especially attractive if your primary goal is gaming or content creation with as little setup as possible. So which one should you choose? First, I would go with PopOS if you want a modern Ubuntu-based distro with strong productivity features. If you need a balance of gaming performance and creative or professional workflows, or if you use Nvidia or AMD GPUs and want easy driver setup. On the other hand, I would go with Nobara if you primarily want Linux for gaming or streaming, if you like Fedora's modern base but want it pre-configured for gaming, or if you prefer a system where most media and gaming tools are ready right after installing. So that concludes this comparison of PopOS versus Nobara. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.